Facebook guys, welcome back to bringing a PDCGO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at Torkoal V. Now, I actually don't even think I have done a video on Torkoal V. Like, I actually don't think I ever did a video on this card. Now, I want to try it out today in the Chilling Rain format, just see how good it is. Because one of the problems with Torkoal is when rotation hits and we do end up losing, uh, we lose Welder. I mean, Torkoal V and pretty much all the fire Pokemon outside of Victini V Max are gonna be very unplayable because without Welder, they're too slow. They're a little too hard to power up. Torkoal having Welder is pretty good. Torkoal does have two attacks, which both of which are actually decent. We got Combustion Pillar for three energy, can do 90 damage. You can discard the top card of your deck, and if it's a fire energy, you can do 90 more damage. That's a nice, easy way to do uh, 180. And of course, we do have a Ranguru to put a fire energy on top of the deck to discard. Then we have Steam Crush, which does four for 120 and discard two energy from your opponent's active, which is a great attack to slow the opponent down, removing their energy, which is one of the main themes of this deck is the Steam Crush being one of our main attacks we try to use in this video. So yeah, before we get in the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So you guys are still gonna pick up any set codes like Chilling Rain, Battle Style, Storm Shield, Base Set, Rebel Clash, or maybe when Evolving Skies goes live in just a few weeks' time, make sure to get your Evolving Skies codes over at Card Cabin. Um, they'll be selling them probably for the cheapest. And if you get any like, Evolving Skies or any PGCGO codes at Card Cabin whatsoever, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF, at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order to help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin too. So shout out to Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF. Also, make sure to check out the video articles that have been posted over there. It would be appreciated if you would give them a watch. So let's look at the list. This is my Torkoal V list I'm playing here. Again, I wanted to really try this Torkoal one last time because, again, when rotation comes around, I don't think Torkoal is going to be any good at all because without Welder, this card is extremely slow and probably will not work. Now, it does have a pretty hefty retreat cost of four, which plays in pretty well with buff padding, but I am playing Cape of Toughness, which is, I mean, just as good as buff padding. Cape of Toughness does let your Torkoal have 260 HP, so it's a pretty tanky two prizer that removes energy and two shots uh, most Pokemon. Now, some other stuff in the deck, of course, Volcanion, you know, Dedenne and Crobat stuff, usually you'll see. The Guru is a pretty cool addition, allowing your Primate Wisdom to put a card on top of your deck. This can help you play around Marnie, but the other big inclusion is that it lets you put an energy on top of the deck for a Combustion Pillar. And then I have one double V in the deck for that late game Revenge Blast to do a little bit more damage. Um, and believe me, this card is going to come in handy in this deck. You'll see. <laughs> you will see. Uh, some other stuff in the deck, we got two Fire Crystals to get your energy back. Um, honestly, I think three Fire Crystal might be better than two because you are discarding energy a lot with Torkoal. That is why I'm playing 12 Fire in total because you will lose quite a bit of energy in this deck over the matches because of, you know, the amount of times you do Combustion Pillar. We got four Poke Gear to find our Welders, three Comms, four Quick Balls, one Recent Stamp is like a late stamp. Steam Crush is really good, but like, yeah, late game comeback. Two uh, Switch alongside two Air Balloon just to give your stuff for your treat, like Volcanion and Guru, which do all have two retreat costs. Four Giant Hearth. We're playing, we're going all in with four because one, you need a lot of energy in your hand to consistently use uh, Combustion Pillar and Welder. But because of Path the Peak popularity right now, we kind of want to just make sure we have enough counter stadiums to not worry about it. We got two boss, two research, four welder, uh, two balloon, the three capes. I am playing a capture. Torkoal does have colorless in its attack cost, so we can play capture energy as a way to get an extra Pokemon and play like the Guru. Trust me, the capture energy is actually a pretty cool inclusion in here. I got one heat energy. This can give Torkoal 290 HP or 280 HP, sorry, with the cape on. So then all of a sudden your Torkoal has 280 HP, the same amount of HP as an ADP. I would play more heat energy. You know, you can obviously cut capture energy for a heat energy if you really wanted to. And then we got 12 basic fire to round of the list. It's my Torkoal V deck. We'll try our Torkoal here before it becomes kind of unplayable. Pulse rotation. All right, into the first match with the Torkoal V deck here. And we have lost the coin flip, which is fine because we usually want to go second with the deck, uh, which, all right, we're doing. Now we're up against a Marnie deck, it looks like. I don't know where we're playing against, actually. Well, actually, I guess a Marnie deck is possible. You play more Peko. Play Hangry more Peko. That's technically a Marnie deck if you think about it. All right, pretty decent start. We got Volcanion, we got the double, we got the quick ball for Torkoal. Yeah, pretty good start. We'll see what they're playing though. It's the big question. As long as it's not water. Ooh, Rapid Strike, okay. Rapid Strike's fine. We got Mew, they play a Spiral Energy. We see a quick ball. All right, pretty good start for my opponent here. We'll see what kind of Rapid Strike deck they're playing. It might be more than just Urshifu. Nope, it looks like it's Inteleon. Nope, yeah, it's gonna get a Sobble. So it is Inteleon. Now, 
we had a Mew in our hand, which we kind of have to pinch, because my opponent immediately found the uh, Rapid Strike energy. All right. I'm going to Quick Ball Way Boss. I want to keep Double. Double, like, it's kind of hit or miss for me. It's like, I like it, but I, you know, being able to just swing for a lot of damage at one point in the game actually could be pretty good. So I actually kind of think just keeping Double here is pretty good. I'm going to have to bench the Mew now, I guess. Then we can just go... I'm just going to hold the hand and just Flare Strike. I'm going to hold the energy for the uh, Guru potentially for next turn for Torkoal. We bench Mew to avoid Rapid Flow. We'll see if my opponent bosses my Mew. We don't play Rod in the deck. So if Mew goes down, there goes our only chance of using it. However, I guess what we could do, if they ever try to build a Birch Food, we maybe could try to put pressure on them with Steam Crush. Maybe. Like, for example, this turn we could Steam Crush them. But 120 to 180 is only 300, though. So we have to kind of do 180 twice. It's going to be a little interesting. There's the Drizzile. We have to watch out for Inteleon, too. Inteleon can one-shot... Well, not one-shot my Torkoal. Do a lot of damage. They are going to go boss. It looks like they are going to take out my Mew. I'm going to imagine this is going to get a Rapid Strike energy. Yep. So they're going to kill my Mew. Yeah. Did, <laughs> poor Mew didn't stand a chance. Did not stand a chance whatsoever. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mew. But uh, you you had to expire early. I'm, I'm sorry, Mew. I'm sorry. Well, now we have to deal with Rapid Flow. But we can Steam Crush them. So it's really not that bad. I don't really want to waste this Welder. I think I'm just going to attach and just... Probably just Steam Crush. Yeah, let's just take a... Just Steam Crush. So I'm going to hold the hand and just do Steam Crush. We can get rid of the Rapid Energy. So that kind of works, I guess. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See you later. Again, we don't have Mew the entire game, so this could get a little interesting, especially because we already have a Pokemon in play that get Rapid Flowed. Joy. Um, but we'll see how we do. That was a pretty good KO, or pretty good uh, pretty good energy removal there. My opponent can still Gale Thrust me. We can't really survive getting two-shot, but we can kind of keep, you know, damaging this. I mean, they have 210 HP left. Let's see if they can attack me here. Okay, they have the Inteleon. Now, let's say I have Karina's in the deck. They're going to have to play the Shady Dealings, which is one less quick shooting. Could they attack with Aqua Bullet? Because I actually could one-shot my Torkoal without the buff padding. I don't think I can. I don't think they do, though. We might have to play... We might have to use the double at some point. If we don't find a Torkoal next turn, we might just go double instead. Using Guru is good, but uh, I guess Guru is pretty awkward, too, because it gets Rapid Float. Everything just gets Rapid Float, dude. It's just not fun. Everything just gets Rapid Float. The whole support system, the Guru, the Volk, they all get Rapid Float cheesed. Maybe we can Steam Crush them again. Unfortunately, we cannot KO this Urshifu, I don't think. There's no way we can do 210 damage. We could switch into Volcanion and High Heat Blast. That's tempting. No, but they still KO me with Rapid Flow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this, to be honest. We just need to get another Torkoal. If... Oh, and they play Zero Aura too? Oh, well, that's not good. Well, that makes it even worse. Okay, we're probably just going to lose this game because we just don't have Mew anymore. Like, yeah. It's looking pretty grim. That was a good top deck. All right, we might as well... Quick ball. Probably get rid of the switch. It's kind of the odd ball out. Grab Torkoal. Let's play Crobat down. I can try to get more energy if I can. There we go. Ooh, reset stamp. That's pretty good. We can stamp up next turn. Giant Hearth is good. Okay. Hold on, maybe we were getting somewhere. Maybe we're getting somewhere. Can't really do combat. We have to steam crush them again, which is fine. We can still two shot. It's not really that big of a deal. We can all well, yeah, we have to go steam crush here. Which is actually not really that big of a deal, right? We can force them to have a switch energy again. And one thing with Urshifu, they don't really play that much energy. Usually they just play the four rapid strike and like a lot of the time they only play like eight energy in total. Um no, they still have an energy. We did get rid of their stadium, though, so we'll see if they have a way to switch here. No. Well, they have everything in their hand every time. Honestly, maybe the play is to just Steam Crush them all. Like, just keep spamming Steam Crush. That might be good. Now, this guy we can boss. If they play Cheryl, though, it's going to be kind of annoying. If they do have a Cheryl, that would really suck. Yeah, we could Steam Crush this guy. Do we want to do that, or do we want to just Steam Crush the active? How much HP does this have? 90. I like doing Steam... I like knocking out the Urshifu, because if they play a Cheryl... I'm, well, what are the chances they do play Cheryl? 
don't even know. It might be better just Rapid Flow, to be honest. Or just Steam Crush. I kind of like just doing Steam Crush on the active. Then next turn we can... Actually, if I kept the Switch, we could have went for like a Switch play here. I might have to research in all honesty. Let's stamp them. I might have to play research here because I don't have... I need a counter stadium. Yeah, we're going to have to... Well, we probably should have benched double. I don't know. This is just tough. Yeah. No counter stadium. We had three hearts in the deck. We're going to have to bench Guru to get there, but then we get rapid flowed. I mean, we could, they can always win by knocking out my Crobat anyway, so I don't think it actually matters. Uh, we could do Denny still, I guess. Good Baloo. No, we need to find Buff Patty too. I don't even think... Oh, Cape of Toughness, actually. We can Cape the Crobat, which isn't terrible. That's if we find Cape, of course. Um... Wisdom, I guess. Oh, wow. I was not expecting to actually hit that off the Wisdom. That is pretty insane. I might have to Dedenne here to find Cape. But then if I Dedenne for Cape, that won't even make a difference because my opponent can still Rapid Flow. Okay, I think we just go for... I think I just Steam Crush. And just remove their energy. This is my best play I can do. I'm not sure we're going to win this, though, but we'll see. We just got to hope my opponent is just not finding their energy. They might not play that many Tower of Water, either. They might only play two, so they might be out of Tower of Water. I mean, we could win by spamming Steam Crush, but it's it might be a little too late. We'll see. I guess if we prevent them from Rapid Flowing with Steam Crush, maybe we can win. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting close game, for sure. Oh, there's a Marnie. That is why I put Quick Ball on top of the deck. I maybe could have put Research, but Quick Ball can get me, like, Boss or something. It sucks we just can't do more damage to the Urshifu. Oh, there's the cape. Yeah, we could quick ball Goss knock out this Urshifu. Oh, you know what? Now if I if I oh they have a third tower, bro. They do play three. Why do they play three? They do have three in the deck. Okay, well, nice. I was not expecting them to play three. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um. Well, right back at you, buddy. Right back at you. Well, now we get a prize. We're actually getting close to winning. Dude, if I actually had the double in play, we literally could have won the game by KOing this. Well, how many bosses they played? They've only played one. Well, I guess they still always could boss the uh, double at some point, but now I'm regretting not benching double because if I bench the double there before discarding it, I literally could have just won the game in like two turns. That really sucks. I actually could have won that way. It's fine. We put Cape on. We have 60 HP. We always could get killed by an Inteleon here. I think at this point, we just do this. Build up the other Torkoal. We're running out of energy, though. That's the other problem. We are running low on energy. We have a Fire Crystal still somewhere in the deck. There's Capture Energy. Oh, we don't even have Eldegoss. We have one Heat. One Crystal. One Energy could be prized. I'm not sure on that one, though. We have 60 HP. What could KO me, realistically speaking? I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I think we might as well just put the cape on the Torkoal. The Crobat, down the Torkoal. If you put on the Torkoal, it can put 110 HP. We still get killed by, like, a Rapid Flow. That, again, the cape won't... I guess the cape survives us from a Crossfist in the active. I guess there's a reason to put the cape on. Sure. Maybe we could have put Quick Ball on top. Anyways, so let's knock him out here, Steam Crush. Okay. I mean, we could win. We're getting close, kind of. We just need to take out this last Urshifu to win. There's Poke Gear. I'm looking for Eldegoss. That's not Eldegoss. That's Eldegoss. All right, we got the Eldegoss. Now we have we have an out to another boss, if we do need it. This is going to be a close one. They also could kill me with... They could probably just kill me with Inteleon here, which is probably what they're going to do. Yeah. Do they have another Rapid Strike energy, though? They're down to... Bro, they just have it. Rip. They have a Marnie. Yeah, that's why I was like, we should have just put Quick Ball on top of the deck. I I knew they were going to Marnie me. I should have put Quick Ball on top. Oh, man. I mean, I think we can still win, though, in all honesty. There's a chance. I mean, they are running thin on energy. I mean, they got to have not that many energy left. 
We are getting somewhere. We kind of have to kill this Inteleon, though. We have to try to go for a Combustion Pillar. See, this is why if I had the double in play, we could have KO'd them. But then if I had double, we... Well... If I had double built up, we literally could have had boss for game. We actually could have won if we had double in play. I don't know why I did not bench the double. That was just... Because that's a big misplay. It's coming to bite me now. Hmm. I don't think there's any fires left. We can check. Yeah. We have a fire crystal, though. Um... It's denning, I guess. Do we need to save a Poke Gear? Not really. We don't need to. Let's just do it anyway. I maybe could have benched the second Guru, but no, we need bench space for Eldegoss. Okay, we got the Fire Crystal. That's good. I mean, they could still win too. If they have another boss energy here, they do just win. I mean, yeah, again, the chances we are winning this are very low. Yeah, if they just have boss, they do just win the game, too. If they have boss energy, they do win. Um, they need boss energy and a pivot card to win this. So we'll see if they have it. It was a close one. I actually probably would have won the game if I had the uh, if I had the double in play. I think I would have won here. So, I mean, yeah, I should have benched the double. We'll see if they can win here. They probably have it. They just need a boss. And we can't really do anything about the Urshifu. We didn't even get a Pokemon off the top deck. We can't even um, Eldegoss next turn. Oh, they don't have it. They have to research. They don't play Tapu Koko or anything, so they can't Rapid Flow me this turn. Okay, hold on. Saying there's a chance to win this? If only they benched a low enough HP Pokemon for a Combustion Pillar to knock them out, though, because Zero Aura doesn't get killed by... Thing. Oh, they play Fan of Waves? Really? They... Why do they play Fan of Waves? <laughs> Dang it. I was like, oh, we can keep our... Eat energy, but no, they have a random fan of ways in the deck, of course. That's one less out to Eldegoss. It's not the end of, we can still attack, that's still like kind of sus. Honestly, we have me, we have to just chase Yurshifu this turn if we can find an Eldegoss out. There we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. We can't win this turn. Now, if I had double in play, I would have won the game. So, there we go. You're playing against Urshifu, guys, and you're playing this deck, you play against Urshifu, always bench the double. I was just like, I don't want to bench it because it's weak to fighting, but it, literally if I had it in play, I think I would have won the game. Oh man, that sucks. So... We could hit the active and they could be stuck. I don't think that's going to work though. I think we have to steam crush this Urshifu. But then they probably switch again. If we had another boss in the deck, we could go back to back boss. No, that won't work. Yeah. I'm literally, like, I don't think there's really much I can honestly do in this scenario. Like, it has to be hit the Urshifu, then hope they don't switch it, which they probably do have a switch. So that's probably not going to matter. This is all I can really do, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think this play really matters at the end, but we'll see. I mean, maybe if we have, like... I mean, maybe if we have a way to, like, go Eldegoss, we can maybe float up. Then boss. Maybe that could work, I guess. I don't think we have enough energy. Well, we have heat energy. But that puts us... I mean, we still lose if they just find back-to-back -back energy attachments. They're down three spirals and three rapids, and they have octillery. So they're always guaranteed to rapid flow me. We just have to pray they can't move the Urshifu. Yeah, see, they still have more energy in the deck. They have a lot more energy than I actually expected. Holy cow. Depends on how many switching cards they have left, too. They still have a drizzle. I mean, they actually have six cards left. No, nah, I don't think they can deck out. I'm trying to just think of all the ways I can win. I just don't think I have a way to win. I mean, they could just win this turn, right? They could, they could already have the boss combo in their hand. Yeah, they get a switch. So we just lose now because they always get rapid flow. Well... Maybe they can't move the Zero Aura? We had Stamp, we could. 
Yeah, I think that's just game then. I, we're just going to get Rapid Float, unless they prize your last Rapid Strike energy, which is probably not the case. The only other thing I think of is to try to float up here. We had Mew still to work with. We could have went Combustion Pillar into Mew to knock him out. If only we just had another Gusting card in the deck. This was a very close game. We almost were able to just kind of remove all their energy, though. I mean, the play might have to be... I mean, we can just... I mean, Eldegoss won't matter. I think we just go Steam Crush and hope they can't move. But if they have a switching card, we just lose. Switching card, Rapid Strike Energy, we lose. So I think, I think we are going to lose this game... If only I benched the double, guys, I think we would have won the game. Now, it could have went different. They could have targeted my double at any point in the match and KO'd it. But had I had the double here, we actually could have KO'd this Urshifu. So, there we go. I learned a new thing. When playing Torkoal V, always bench the double V because it actually might give you a good chance at KOing an Urshifu after you've done Steam Crush. So, always bench the double. Lesson learned. Always bench double because you need it. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean... Do they not have it? Do they not have another switch in the deck? Oh, did they prize their last energy too? Oh, what the heck? We actually got him? Okay. Never mind. Screw the double. They didn't have it anyways. Okay. Wow. Um, I'll take it. I mean, that was actually pretty good. I That showed up the power of how good Steam Crush can be. But yeah, I mean, I was not expecting to win that game at all. I thought they just had Switch Rapid Strike Energy in hand, but I guess not. I'll take it, bro. Awesome. Torkoal is great. Don't mess with Torkoal. All right, here we go into another match with Torkoal. We've won the coin flip, so we will let my opponent go first so that we can get the, hopefully, turn one off here. We'll see how it goes. Now, I guess a Psyche deck could be Shadow Rider. Could also be a Mewtwo deck, but you know what? I'm, you know, as long as we can put in work. We had a really close game against Urshifu there, so we'll see if we can continue it. This time, I'm actually going to put some value into the double, too. Not going to make the same mistake I made twice. Start with Guru, I guess. We have Quick Ball. Not a great hand. We have a Volk, though, so if we can maybe find a Torkoal, we can still build up the Volcanion. Or build up the Torkoal. We also might have to just did Dene. They got a big hand, too. Oh, no. Whoa! Three basics. They're still playing Inteleon. Are they playing Dragapult? They might be playing Dragapult, which is actually fine because we can remove their energy and it's like, that's really good. Yeah, it's Dragapult. All right, this matchup I'm fine with because depending on how it goes, I mean, we don't have the greatest of hands, but we can remove their energy with Steam Crush and it's like Dragapult can't attack me. Ooh, there's a Torkoal. So I do think we want a Quick Ball here or... I mean, we can go Volcanion, then we're in top deck. I think... Oh, we don't even have Dene. So we have the Crobat. Yeah, we're going to have to play Crobat. That's fine. We're going to have to play Crobat. Nice, we still got it. Nice. We'll ditch the Mew, I guess. We have Poke Gear. We'll go Volk. All right. I am a little scared of Crushing Hammer. They might play it, so we got to watch out. We can Wisdom. I don't want to put any card back into my uh, deck. I think I just Flare Starter. Like, I, I actually don't really see a point doing Wisdom. Oh, we prized two Welders. Okay, that's actually really bad. That's worst case scenario. Prizing two of our Welders is not good. But we do have the ability to go Steam Crush next turn on the Dragapult here. Maybe we can even boss it. Because removing the two energy on the Dragapult is huge. Dragapult has to go attach, attach. And when we're removing the energy like that, they're kind of stuck. They could be playing Urshifu. And we did just lose our Mew. So they're playing Urshifu, Dragapult. That could suck quite a bit. They get their own Crobat. I am scared of the big, well, the big, yeah, the big thing I'm scared of, honestly, is just Crushing Hammer. It's a very annoying card, and I have a bad feeling they play it. Ooh, Path of Peak, that's fine. <laughs> we don't have Dedenne anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see what they do. Do they have a Switch boss? They don't. So we can kill their Sobble, I guess. A little Pokey Gear. There's Welder. All right, we still got Welder. We can Welder to the active. No, we have only two in the deck. It's not a good idea. I think we attach Wisdom the Welder on top. Hello there, Torkoal. And then we just knock out the Sobble with Volcanion. That's fine. Now we can just knock out Dragapult and Crobat to win. Nice. That's a huge prize. So if they Marnie me, we're still drawing Welder. We have four Giant Hearth in the deck. I think they're all in the deck too. I kind of, I think I remember seeing them. So we'll see if they do. 
they are probably gonna boss my Torkoal this turn, but the, as long as they don't, we'll see. I am a little scared of Torkoal getting, like, again, I don't want Crush Nammon happening, because I want to be able to Steam Crush the two energy off the Dragapult. Then they just can't attack, and then it's, like, really good for us. I do imagine we're either gonna get Marnied or bossed here. Most likely a boss, but Marnie could come down too. They could even boss my knock out my guru, which I mean that's not that bad, but it could still kind of suck if they kill my guru. Maybe we should sneak an ornate rod in the deck. An ornate rod might have to go in here. I should get Mew back. They lose more energy. They're down four energy now. They might only play like ten or nine in total, so I mean they don't have unlimited energy out, so this makes our Torkoal even more deadlier. What are they doing? Marnie, boss, or research? They don't play either. They actually just knock me out, which is perfectly fine. All right. That's pretty good. We're probably going to hit Torkoal. Yeah, okay. How much HP? We got 210, so we we do take 40 damage, I'm pretty sure. I've never done this interaction, so I actually don't even know if we're going to take damage from horror energy. We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out. Um. I, the fire crystal. Bench this. Welder 1 to the Torkoal. Doesn't really matter how we sequence that. Switch. Okay. Attach that there. Wisdom the Welder. I do want to find Giant Hearth at some point. There we go. We could play that, but I don't want to shuffle my Welder. So I think I hold it, and then we just go Steam Crush. Let's find out if we take the damage. We don't. No! Oh, busted. We don't take the damage. So now we keep our 210 HP. There's like no way Torkoal goes down for sure. We'll see if they play Rapid Strike Energy. Now, they could still go into a VMAX, which they do get, yeah. But as long as we just keep spamming Steam Crush, we're fine. Um, we'll see what they do, though. Yeah, as long as we keep spamming Steam Crush, we should be okay. Yeah, with the Inteleon and the Horror, they could have killed me. They're actually going to shred me, it looks like. Unfortunately, they do survive a Combustion Pillar, so the math is kind of just awkward there. Ooh, they play EXP Share. That's fine, though. We still have the Steam Crush. I think we just spam Steam Crush and just pray they don't play any, like, Crushing Hammers. Because, I mean, this is just a matchup where Torkoal can just kind of run them over. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, my opponent can still win. I'm not saying that we auto-win because we can prevent them from attacking. But they are playing very smart, right? My opponent's playing very smart here, spreading the energy out between the two Dragapults. They do play a Tool Scrapper. That does get rid of my Cape of Toughness. Um, But because they already attached, we aren't going to get Max Phantom. So we're, I mean, we still survive, actually. They could have went Max Phantom, Inteleon, knock me out in my opponent's turn. So that was actually a pretty good bullet dodge. That's good. Yeah, they already attached for turn. They can shred me again. 60 damage. So we got 80 HP left. We can still get knocked out by shred, I guess. We play this. We'll get rid of the pokey gear. Do this. I'm just going to weld her to the other Torkoal. We're just going to steam crush. We're just going to try to remove all their energy if we can. They, they got to run out of energy eventually. Ooh, we could put the uh, heat energy on. Nah, that's probably just not good. We'll put that there. Wisdom the calm on top. Now we'll just knock him out. Or not, not. We'll hit him with Steam Crush. Just keep making him find energy, right? How many energy are they down? They are down five. They're down six energy. And again, they might only play like 10. They might play 11, but playing 11 is a little excessive in a Dragapult deck. So they're going to run out of energy eventually. So I think we could just kind of just keep spamming our Steam Crush. And we're, we're good. Let's see if they knock me out this turn. They already attached, so they might not be able to KO me. Nope, they do. Okay. I was going to say, if they don't, we can calm for Goss and then boss this and then remove more energy. But even though they do KO me, we're going to still remove all their energy off the board, right? They have... They're now five. They're going to be down seven energy right now. They're actually going to be out of horror energy altogether. So it's not looking good. If they play Rapid Strike energy, they could attack me with Inteleon. That is one thing we have to be a little mindful of. Um, we'll see. Let's see we top deck here. Oh yeah, what am I saying? We I know what I'm trying. So bench Torkoal. Hearth away. Just grab more energy out of the deck. Just keep thinning. Hatch. Wisdom. Nice. There's Elagos. So we can use boss next turn if we want. Or welder. We'll just steam crush. Once again, just take all the energy off the Dragapult. They are now down seven energy. They are they're out of horror and they are down three psychics. They might only have like two or three energy left in the deck. So oh, this is looking pretty good. Torkoal is just running them out. They are keeping up in the damage department. Yeah, there's another energy. We can hmm. we can try to welder into the other Torkoal, which I might end up doing. They could win by bossing my guru and killing the Torkoal. We need to find our cape still. 
Honestly, we need cape. Oh, they're going to switch. Okay, we're going to boss Goss this then. If they're not going to attack me, we're gladly going to... Oh, no, they're going to double switch to play a Crobat. Or maybe maybe they're just thinning. What's going on? Did they grab a Crobat? No, I don't know what they're doing. They do play Shady Dealings, though. Let's see what they grab. Do they play any energy removal? They have. We haven't seen one. No, they don't. Okay, they get Boss and Amarni. I think they're going to boss me here. They're going to try to boss Guru, probably. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go Crobat. We'll switch, I guess. Well, they do get to get some damage on. But again, we're removing their energy, and they're not attacking my Torkoal, which is still pretty good. We can do this. Do this. We just attack them and just... We'll just keep removing their energy. We even got a stamp for next turn. Yeah, Steam Crush. Just... Yeah. They're running out of energy. They got to be out eventually, right? They have... They're down eight energy. They might not even play more than eight. They might only have like nine in the deck. I mean, at this point, they might not even be able to do Max Phantom again. There's a boss. Probably going to bring in Crobat. I didn't expect another boss. That's why I put the balloon on because I kind of thought they were going to do Marnie, but I guess I had boss. We still have energy in the deck, though. We still have Switch and a balloon. I think that's game. Yeah, they just pass. Um. I mean, yeah. Do this. Grab an energy. Retreat. Still fire crystal, I think, too. Go into Torkoal. Wisdom the Goss on top. And the Steam Crush. That should just be game, because next turn we just Goss, Boss, KO the Dragapult. Just like that, we've won. And okay, another energy's good. The Dene's good. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. And a switch. Beautiful. That's also good in case. I mean, we're gonna get Marnied, obviously, but we still got resources back. The Dene is very important. But I think we're gonna win. And as you can see, Steam Crush just Ran him out of energy, and that is why the Torkoal is pretty good. Don't mess with Torkoal, like I said. But let's see, can my opponent salvage themselves? I don't think they can win this turn. There's, like, no way, right? I think we've got him. And, I mean, they might only have, like, a couple energy left in the deck, and we have Goss or Boss. So if they attach the Dragapult, we're still going to win the game anyways, right? We put the Goss. I mean, okay, no, they can still put a path in play. We actually didn't get a... We didn't get one of our Giant Hearth off there. They could still path me here, I guess. They also still need to find an energy, which they're still struggling to do. Right? It's like, even even if... Like, okay, they do have to Dene. That could also be our win condition. We can knock it out with Combustion Pillar if we can't kill Dragapult for whatever reason. They have six cards left. Let's see. I think they do have energy left because they are playing like they do play more energy. So they probably do have another Psychic in the deck. There they go. That's the ninth energy they've played. But if they don't get a Path to Peak and play, we are going to win the game here. Another Energy Spinner. Do they play more? Do they play 10 energy? No, they don't. They fail the spinners, so that they might just be out of energy. And that's game. They don't play Path the Peak. And just and we drew Hearth anyway. So even if they play Path, we still drew the Giant Hearth. But we'll give them the well played. If we could even bully the Dragapult if we want to just, just knock that out or hit that and then remove their energy. But we are just gonna Steam Crush for the win. And there we go. Torkoal of V destroys Dragapult in Teleon. As you can see, Steam Crush is very good in this matchup. Did a lot of work. But that'll be a for today's PDCG video, guys, on the Torkoal V deck. As you can see, removing the energy is very strong. And we even get to open up five Chilling Rain Packs, which we might as well open up because, man, I'm still fiending for... I'm still fiending for those Shadow Riders and Ult Arts and Secret Fire Crystal. So, yeah, Torkoal V, a lot of fun to play before Welder rotates. Give it a try if you haven't already. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. It is fun to play Torkoal. So, if you want to play something different before Welder rotates, you know, you're, you're trying to get in your Welders... Before Welder leaves the format and Fire becomes kind of weak outside of Victini VMAX. Definitely give Torkoal a try. Ooh, we got a Moltres in the first pack. That's pretty good. We'll open up another pack here, see what we get. So first pack in Moltres? No. Nope. Beanie. Alright, we might just might just get nothing in these last two packs. I got hope though we'll pull a Shadow Rider. We always pull a Shadow Rider. Blaziken, I mean I'll take it. It's a pull. I mean I don't need it, but I'll take it. Alright. So we got Moltres. Altar Moltres maybe would be good. All right, we got Articuno. All right, three hits out of five packs potentially. That's not bad. I mean, I didn't need any of them, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Last pack here. What do we get? A Beedrill. I got a playset now. Sure. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys, on Torkoal. Again, if you want to try something fun, if you are if you want to try out a Welder deck before Welder leaves, give this Torkoal deck a try. I don't know if I change anything about it after playing it, to be honest. The Capture Energy debatably can get cut for a 13th Energy or a second Heat Energy could be kind of cool. Another crystal would be okay. I don't really know what else I changed about the list. But yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Check out Car Cavern down below. Use code LDF. Follow me on Twitch down below. 
I'm trying to get partners. So make sure you guys give that Twitch a follow right now. Do it right now. Stop what you're doing. And uh, bye-bye.